I just finished recording a video that I will link here in the top right corner of the video, um, where I started from the beginning with Unreal Engine for uh, people who never had an impression about this app. Um, I open it while well, I had a level already here and we got through some basics, how everything works. And um, I got this girl here into the level. And um, so, so this is real footage. So this is green screen footage um, keyed out. Um, we had this, um, we added this light here so that because she's light here, this has this purple light in her face that it matches the scene. Um, and we created this um, camera movement also. And that was in just a 10, maybe 15 minute video. It was a short video where I shared the basics of Unreal Engine. And now I thought, hey, okay, let's go on and explain a little more Unreal Engine for filmmakers, because I truly believe this is the future of filmmaking, because it has so many possibilities. This is filmmaking in the metaverse, and the metaverse is coming, well, we don't know how fast it's coming. I believe it's coming fast and quickly. And this is the metaverse. And why this is the metaverse, um, I will show you. Um, I will share my screen here a little bigger. So because this is um, actually also the metaverse, right? So I had someone asking, oh, wow, you have a great apartment. And of course, unfortunately, this is only green screen. Um, I can show, uh, share my, um, my green screen footage also with you yeah so this is how it really looks and you can see i am not only getting the color so um the colors um in my face um uh, that i receive this light here also from from this this is virtual light yeah like the color correction features um but um it, this is all real time i do this while i'm talking yeah and i also have a camera movement so let me bring this to the next level because I can, uh, let's uh, share my screen. I can select another camera here. By the way, it, this all looks so complicated, but it's not. It's so much easier than it looks like. Here, just three buttons. I have three virtual cameras here. My real camera is just on a tripod. And I select the second camera now. So my camera picture looks a little weird right now, right? And that's the reason, because he on the side. I have a tracking sensor on my desk. And when I move this tracking sensor around now, of course, I can share a little room tour with you or I can just say hi. So, and this is now a handheld camera and I can go, I can move in 3D space no matter where I want. I can show you um, my screens, of course. Well, now I have to focus a little on the orientation because my <laughs> My monitors are not really here, of course. If I would get up and stand up, I would really can um, would be able to go through this whole room and show you uh, the microwave in the in the back, the kitchen, the coffee machine, the windows, the screen here that I have here on top, and this whole room. This is just amazing. And of course, if I would have have an, a bigger green screen room and not only the green screen here. At the back, I would also be able to really walk through the room. And if my camera would have also re uh, would record me, not only <laughs> half I wouldn't be cut off, I could really walk through this room as if I would be there. This is the metaverse. This is the future of filmmaking. I have no doubt. So this is where how YouTube videos will be made um, not a long time from here. By the way, if you know Mr. Beast, like one of the biggest YouTubers uh, in the world, and he had this popular video where he got 200 million views, Squid Game, he used exactly this tracking sensor for the CG work because they extended their set, yeah? And they also work with Unreal Engine. Um, it's, um, it's, it's a huge set. It's, I highly recommend just checking out the video real quick just to see how big the stage is. So. By the way, this red light in the back here, this is what I positioned there in the corner and I positioned another red light over there in this corner here. Where is it? Somewhere, so I don't have the stand here. Aha, okay, it's there in the middle. Yeah, it's it's just one light without a stand. That's why it looks so weird, but that's not a problem. I, of course, I can move everything around and it's so easy as I shared with you in the um, video where I show um, the Unreal Engine basic lessons. I'm so sorry when it's so shaky right now. Of course I can change 
the zoom, focal length, focus, I can change everything. So let's go back to camera one. It's this one. It's not attached to a tracking sensor, but that doesn't mean that I, um, I'm not be able to make camera moves here. And I'm attached so to the world. And can you see when I move here, I, I become darker because there's no light anymore. And now I receive the lighting again, more and more and more. And um, I can, let's see, I can, I can make a virtual move like here, like this one. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I could go on and on hours and hours and show you more and more. Uh, but I think it's more important that you also um, get your hands onto all this stuff here. Um, that you start, first of all, with Unreal Engine, yeah? And and this is a scene here that I have here um, that I passed from Unreal Engine to another app called Eximetry. I would say this is the second step to discover. And the time frame, so I would say spend two hours in Eximetry and spend 12 hours in Unreal Engine and you have a very good understanding of what I'm doing here. And if you're really searching like for the step-by-step -step progress to do this, you should check out uh, the courses on my website. I link this down in the description. Um, I, I really make them affordable, number one. Number two, they always come with a money back guarantee because it's very important for me that you really like it. If you don't do, you have 60 days left, send me an email. Um, hey, that, this course was not for me. I want to have my money back. You receive your money back, really. I don't want to have your money if you don't like it. But I'm very sure that you will love it. That's why I'm able to do this. Um, you, no, you, re you should, really should do this. Uh, so I have a course where you can recreate a um, piano bar scene that I created. And we really start with the basics. We go through this step by step. You get footage from me, like green screen footage, so that you don't have to record something. Um, that you really can start learning the software and operate virtual cameras in Unreal Engine. This is what this course is about and the class. And yeah, you create this little piano bar scene. I play the piano here. This girl is my girlfriend. She's in the back, sitting at the table, listening to me, is in love with me. I'm super happy, of course. And um, yeah, you, and you got virtual characters that you can um, place as background characters in the scene. Now, it's exciting. It's really exciting. I just love it. I'm so happy to be able to share this with you here. And um, thanks so much for watching. Of course, if you buy one of my courses, it supports my channel. It supports my work. I appreciate it. Um, but if you don't do this, if you just spend time here, I'm also happy. Yeah. So thanks so much for being here. I'm looking forward to see you in one of my courses. Then we can also like have a chat. Um, if you want to, we can set up a Zoom call. So it's not a guarantee, but I do this with most of my students. You can definitely always send me an email. And um, other than that, I'm looking forward to see you in the next video. So thanks so much for watching and see you in the next video.